Hi guys, so we wanted to pop on before the vlog kicks off as we are looking at planning a community travel trip. Yep, it won't be van life related this time, but it's gonna be bigger and mm -hmm. better than anything we've ever hosted before. And all you're gonna need is yourself yeah. and your backpack and the rest you can leave up to us. And Onyx. And Onyx. <laughs> We have been researching into some incredible destinations and itineraries in Asia and local too in Europe, but we want to hear where you want to go as we'd love to build this trip together. Absolutely, and if you'd love to join us on this absolutely epic trip, all we need you to do is fill out a short survey yeah. just so we can get a feel for where you'd like to go, what you'd like to do, and your budget. And there is absolutely no commitment from taking this survey. It's yeah. literally just a survey which you can find in the description below or in the pinned comment. So far, we've only ever organized weekend van trips. So if we manage to pull this off, we will be so excited. Yeah, and we love sharing our events with you guys. So being able to do it in real life will be awesome. Absolutely. And we will continue to share more details on this on here, on our Instagram and TikTok as well. So do keep an eye out. And if you've got any questions at all, do feel free to ask us in the comments or drop us a private message on Instagram at Nick Rome's or an email hello at Nick Rome's dot co.uk <laughs> couldn't even remember my own email so let's cool. crack on with the vlog welcome back to our uk to norway road trip in this week's episode we meet up with my sister and her partner sam and manu and find ourselves camping in castricum netherlands coastline it's also a certain someone's birthday so we head to a traditional dutch village to celebrate have you seen one too many windmills if you missed last week's episode, don't forget to catch up where we began prepping the van. We have enough noodles to feed the whole of Norway. We hopped on the Euro Tunnel. Oh, it's on my side. I'm gonna have to do the talking. Oh my God. Oh. And drove through France and Belgium with a pit stop at Dunkirk. I'm wondering whether there's like little secret raves that happen here or like cult meetups. Hi guys, we are Nick, Sam and Lord Onyx. And this van right here is our home. We've been living and traveling on the open road since 2018 and what a journey it has been. Subscribe and turn on those notifications for van life adventures every week. Now we have Sam and Manu in tow, it's time to catch up at Club Zand. And with these prices, we are wondering if we will survive the next few months. Look how perfect these carrots are. <laughs> Do you think they're gonna actually be nice? They're cold. I don't even like carrots, but this is good. So we have just pulled over to the campsite it's very beautiful, but very busy. It feels hectic to Sam and I, we're not used to this. We've got like a party of 50 behind us and then just pockets of vans everywhere. Um, anyway, we need to go build the tent because that's what Sam and Manu are staying in this weekend. We want the two longer ones. Long one, yeah. Sam, let's let them build their tent. Because they want to be wilderness survivors. Do you got their money? I do. <laughs> We have now made the tent for Sam and Manu. They wanted to experience true wilderness, but unfortunately you can't do that in the Netherlands because it is illegal. So they have a tent in a campsite. Come have a look inside. This is what they're going to be sleeping in for the next two nights. <laughs> I think it looks quite cozy. They've got the They've bed the in the wrong, wrong way around. <laughs> Let's not tell them. Look at Lord Onyx and his new throne. It's only rented, but don't tell him. We've only been in the Netherlands for a few hours, but it's already clear. When in Netherlands, you cycle. So of course we had to rent this Buckfiat's bike so Onyx could come along with us to the beach in the comfort he deserves. Come it's on, all okay. flat, but I'm absolutely <laughs> knackered. Can't keep up with the Dutch. Say it again. I'm always the loser, always. Loser? Everyone's so far away. Oh yeah. What the hell, bye-bye. Oh no. Wait. Look what I just found! A caterpillar has come for a ride. An onyx that. over there. Honestly, he's like, this is not my throne. Get me out of here. <laughs> it's pretty with the dunes Did you enjoy your bike ride, Onyx? So we, so we know. Did you have the best time? You look worn out and you didn't even do anything. Sam did, he had the best time. <laughs> you <laughs> did, yeah. <laughs> I got left behind because I couldn't keep up with everyone. <laughs> That's a hip bike. We haven't got any of them like 
What's he done? He did a poopy. He did a what? He did a smelly poopy. When we think of the Netherlands, we definitely don't think of a beach. So of course when my sister asked to camp near the beach, it was a yes from us. The beaches here kind of remind us of Norfolk, the flatness, the calmness, the dunes. But there is just much more of a kick to it with their exotic looking beach bars and just generally better weather. If you are planning a trip to Amsterdam, do add the coastline of the Netherlands to your itinerary. You're not even touching the water. You're so good. Good boy. So we're heading back to the campsite now. Uh, we've been at the beach all day, but we ran out of food and I don't even think they realise how far I am behind them. I can't keep up and my legs are already jelly. We've been on the bikes for about one minute. They're so far away. Everyone's overtaking me. You okay? Yeah, you ditched me. Well, I was the only reason I caught up with them is because Sam went the wrong way. <laughs> A Highland coup. Good morning. Good morning, dear. They're smelly, aren't they? They're like you, Onyx. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Onyx. Happy birthday to you! Do -do -do -do. Oh my god, look Here at is that. your birthday present! How old is he? He's four. <gasps> Should we give you four birthday beats, right? One, two, three, four, and one for good luck. So, good where boy. do you want to go today, Onyx? Dancing Bar. Oh, do you want to go see the windmills? That's exactly Is that a yeah? <laughs> well, that's exactly what we'll do today then. Welcome to Zantashan! <laughs> this place is known for its historic windmills. Yeah, and it is everything Onyx wanted and more today, isn't it? I think You've so. even climbed this giant tower that's got a pond or a canal-like <laughs> riverway underneath it, so he's a little nervous. But he made it, he's here! Let's check out this view because it oh, is yeah. stunning. As we have parked at the visitor parking for Sansa Shans. It is 11 euros a day, which is pretty steep in my opinion. Um, but apparently that's just what it's like all over Netherlands. Everything is expensive. So this is probably our most expensive week in the van so far. But we're just going to put up with it and enjoy ourselves. <laughs> it's just vanished! I thought there'd be like a base to it. Are you in a clog? Zanzishan is a riverside village famous for traditional windmills and houses. This is the place to go for all things uniquely Dutch. I thought there was going to be free cheese on there. Yeah, it's on the wall. <laughs> yeah, but not to eat. It's here to lure us in and then you actually have to pay for the cheese. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, the free cheese experiences learn how to how it's made and the yeah. process. But Sam said there was free cheese, didn't she? She tried some lavender it's cheese. It's so manic in there. Red pasta. That'd be amazing. This is goat's cheese lavender. Yeah. Ooh. That's incredible. Interesting, isn't it? Mmm. I quite like that actually. I really like it. I didn't think I was going to mm. like it, but. Nice. Let's get another. Yeah, I don't want to go. This is goat's cheese now. Quite strong, but soft at the same time. I like. It's very busy in here. So I've come to a quiet corner and Sam is going into the busyness and bringing over cheese samples to me. What have you got this time? This one is rosemary sheep. Three, two, one. Mm. Ooh, that's nice. I don't think my favourite one was the lavender. Mmm, that one's good. So I go around and pick loads up and take them to Sam. And these are all the different cheeses we can buy. So we're finishing off our sample tasting with a repeat of the lavender cheese and I think I might grab us a, a block as well. Really? Yeah. yeah it's nice. And now I've seen the price, I might just stick to the samples. Do you find the cheese experience? To be honest, I'm glad that it wasn't just purely about making cheese and there was free cheese at the end because it was amazing. All the cheese is there. How many cubes do you think you ate? About 20. <laughs> now on to find some real food. 
we continued making our way through Zanzishan on the hunt for food. The buildings here date back to the 17th and 18th century. You can even find their very first Albert Hine, which to us Brits, it's like Tesco. Honey, have you had a good birthday? I think he has because he's fast asleep. You always have a good birthday. Every day is a birthday for you, isn't it? Have you seen one too many windmills? Mm. He says he wants to get to the red light district. Okay. <laughs> right, guys, so we're going to call that a wrap on this week's vlog. We weren't actually too sure whether to film as yeah. we wanted to enjoy the weekend properly, but then we decided to pick up the camera so you guys can see what it's like in Castricum on the coastline of Netherlands. Yeah, of course, and we thought we'd do a little wrap up of how much it costs as we think it could be a good. Yeah. Long weekend away from the UK because there's a ferry that goes straight to the Netherlands. Absolutely. So, costs. So the campsite for two nights was 96 euros and that was for all four of us. But a lot of campsites in the Netherlands actually let up to six people stay in one plot. Yeah. So it makes it even cheaper. Yeah, of course. And if you want to rent a bike, yeah. a normal bike costs €13.50 and a book fit is €24.50 a day. Um, yeah. When we went to Club Zand, it was €105 Euro for all of our food. That's for mm -hmm. four people mm -hmm. with it's beer quite pricey. as well. Yeah, so yeah, I think yeah. it was relatively pricey, but for the location and the scenery, I think it was beautiful. Yeah, you got to treat yourself when you're away on a holiday. It felt like a holiday for us because we were with my sister and Manu. So, yeah, yeah. of course, um, especially if you're not paying. That obviously doesn't, yeah, they, they did pay. <laughs> obviously, that doesn't include like food yeah. for your barbecue and things like that, which we've just left out because that's kind of up to you. But just note the prices in um, the Netherlands are higher than the UK, as it feels anyway for us. Yeah, definitely. And of, of course, guys, we're going to have to end the vlog there. Yeah. So, as you all know, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. And we'll, we'll catch you next week. Ciao. Ciao.